we're going to make a cup of joe here with my new hot shot solo system. Uh, you can see I've got a water bottle kind of nested right in top of it there. This is the entire hot shot solo. Just bigger than a can of soda. A removable lid and inside then is everything else that we need. The outside container we can kind of set aside. That's more or less for protection, although it will work, of course, as a drinking cup if you need one. Inside, we've got our coffee, a little bottom burner protection, in this case for the table that we're cooking on inside. This happens to be the studio where I work. I don't want to burn a hole through the desk. We've got two ounces of fuel right there, a mini Bic, of course our stove, that's the one I introduced in the forum as my Crimp Cat Mini. And a pot. Now this one is my prototype, obviously, so you can see where it's kind of beat up. This thing's been through the ringer, but I guess we'll call those beauty marks or something. Uh, let me get this other stuff kind of out of the way here. Here's how it works. We'll go ahead and put some water in the pot. We're going to have about 8 ounces of water. It's a 12 ounce can, standard size soda can, cut down and re-rimmed so it will actually hold 10. We're going to make an 8 ounce drink so I've got a little bit of room to stir. Now, in the stove we're going to put a quarter ounce of fuel and in this stove, if you look at the dimpled bottom, basically if you just cover the top of that dimple with fuel, that is exactly a quarter ounce. And that's what will work ideally for bringing this amount of water just to almost a boil. Uh, not entirely boiling, but right to it. So there's our two ounces in there. We're going to go ahead and light it. off and running. Get our windscreen out. Get our pot. We're going to set the pot right on top like that. Put our windscreen around it. Keep that water away from my Mac, huh? It doesn't get along too good. You can already hear the stove running. And that is really as simple as it is. It takes just over three minutes, about three minutes and 20 seconds, to burn that quarter ounce of fuel off. And at that point, then, your drink is just ready to, to start sipping on. Not so hot that you've got to wait another five minutes. Uh, also inside, I guess you saw, we had a couple packs of coffee, a couple packs of sugar. Open them up, get them ready. And I'm doing this video in real time. I'm not going to do any editing to the, the timeline of, of how long it takes to, to actually get this prepared or to boil the water. Just so that you can see how quick and easy it is. I don't know if you can really see that flame or not. Let me kill the light here just a little bit. Let me help you get a a better look at the, the flame pattern coming off of this crimp cat mini. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> there you can see it again. But we're just going to let this thing do its stuff for another minute or two, and then it'll be time for a cup of joe. The point with this kit is I'm trying to make something that will work for outside use, of course, if I'm hiking or, or even camping maybe. And this could be a supplemental uh, cook set to my normal one if you want to make coffee and another meal simultaneously. But ideally I think something this small is suited more to a day hike where it might be cold and you just want a cup of coffee or 
some hot tea or something while you're out sitting on a rock enjoying the view or whatever you might be doing. In this case though, I also wanted something that's safe to use indoors. Um, we're burning yellow heat, so it's known there. It's just starting to go out. Let me quit talking here. Okay, right there the stove went out. Let me kick the light back on. What I was saying was that I also wanted something that would be ideal to use inside. You know, say you're sitting at your desk or in your cubicle and you just want to make your own hot pot of tea or coffee or whatever. Now the neat thing about this, the, the cap for the container also functions as a holder for the hot pot. Now with the stove pattern or the flame pattern that the stove produces, it doesn't excessively heat the side of the pot. So right after it's done, you can pick this pot up right on the bare metal and then set it down in here. You probably can't see real well down in the pot, but we've got a lot of bubbles just starting to release. It's right at the edge of boiling, but not quite not quite boiling. So we'll dump in some taster's choice. One little pack of sugar, because I'm not a true coffeeholic. Get that stirred up here. What I did was I just got some of these little disposable plastic stir sticks and cut one down to size where it would fit down in the pot. And right there you have it. A nice instant hot cup of joe right at your desk. Thanks to the Hot Shot Solo.